hey what's up how is it going to that video we are going to be looking at how to create a plastic uh, 3d effect uh, a plastic uh, test effect uh, in Corridor uh, S7 so without further ado let's step into it so right now let's head over to our test tool click on test tool let's type plastic plastic so what we're gonna be doing is to make it bigger just like so so let's head over to uh what's it called let's change the what's it called uh the test to a uh, rounded empty board you can you see that so what we need to do now is to head over to your uh, shape to plus let's make it closer a bit good so what we're gonna be doing now is to head over and change that to white set our line to a uh, black so what we're gonna be doing now is to head over and just you know uh let's make and uh, make a copy to intercept each other just like so so by so doing let's just send that out to a uh, grain so let's make it a bit you know a uh, lemon so send to back so after that make a copy again just like so so as this right now double click right here let's make it a bit darker green the darker side of a green again then you hit ctrl play down your keyboard to send that behind so what we need there to do now is to go ahead and just uh, set the half line to green the uh, upper uh, one so it on helps you have change thickness so the half line to uh, 4 check on the end field scale with subject bit ok good after that let's head over to our shadow apply a shadow apply shadow to the upper plastic you know test just like so so what you needed to do now is to go over uh, and uh, change the darkness of the shadow to 90 it's okay <coughs> head over to this place and make it the reduction of the spread for it's okay good can you see that so head over to object then break drop shadow up automatically it breaks so the next step right now is to head over to the uh, down part of the other uh, desk which is the lower part so let's head over to your shadow again click on shadow let's give it shadow good so right now what you need to do is to go ahead and just make that shadow 90 as well the head over to this place and let's make that you know six make it 100 percent right from here it's okay good so your next step right now is to go over to the down part which is the last uh, grain so let's set over to your shadow as well apply shadow to that so the last shadow has to be a bit darker so let's make it 90 can you see that then let's head over to this place and change the color of that to a kind of you know uh green reflection good so let's head over to what was it called uh objects break drop shadow apart so after that what we need to do is to go again let's supply a shadow again to that good so what we're gonna be doing now is to make it spread so as this right now let's make it you know 60 
can you see that good so what we're going to be doing now is to head over to object break drop shadow apart automatically breaks can you see that so right now select the whole thing then you head over to uh bitmap convert to bitmap it's okay with a Y for that with a Y good so right now what you have to do is to head over to adjust effect adjust tone off so here we have so let's just make it a bit you know uh, darker copy center it within the previous one so let's head over to our page map head over to our uh, effect then I just look at tone curve so make it a bit you know pull it down or let's pull it up to make it darker good so it's okay Head over uh, to your what's called uh, transparency to let's blend the down parts so that we can have that to the appearance of the plastic effects. Ctrl G, good. So let's give it background, make the background green or darker color. good now click to make it darker bit good it's okay can you see that can you see the flashing of uh, dark green so here we are at the finish point a finished line of what you're doing can you see the outcome of what you created so far don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the button below subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button so that other people can benefit from what we have shared so far see you in the next video bye for now